This video is a basic tutorial on set notation and Venn diagrams to GCSE level. A set is simply a collection of objects. So for example, set A are the prime numbers. The numbers in this set would either be called the elements or the members of that set. Set B are the multiples of two. And we use the notation here for the universal set. So if we look to the other Venn diagram, the universal set is everything that sits inside this rectangle. Set A is here, and set B is just here. What we're going to do is use a Venn diagram to fill in the information we're given here in set notation onto the Venn diagram. So let's pick the Venn diagram up. OK, so let's start with the numbers. We're, going, we're taking the positive integers, the universal set of positive integers from 1 to 12. So let's take 1. 1 is not a prime number, so it's not going to be in set A. It's not a multiple of 2, so it's not going to be in set B. Therefore, we will place it just here. Let's now take 2. 2 is our next number. 2 is a prime number, so it's part, or it's an element, or a member of A. And it's also a multiple of 2, so it's a member of B. It's a member of both A and B. And that will go just here. As we'll see later in our work, we call this the intersection, A intersection B. The larger part around here is going to be A union B. So if you want to look at it as that's A or B, A union B, this is A and B. OK, let's take 3. Well, 3 is a prime number, but it's not a multiple of 2, so we put it solely in A. 4 is a multiple of 2, but it's not a prime number, so it would be part of B only. 5 is a prime number, so it's a member of A, but it's not a multiple of 2, so it's not a member of B. 6 is now, it's not a prime number, so it's not in A, but it is a multiple of 2, so it is in B. 7, prime number, but not a multiple of 2. 8 is not prime, but it is a multiple of 2. 9 is neither prime, so it is not a member of A, and it's certainly not a multiple of 2, so it's not a member of B, so we'll put it on the outside. 10. 10 is a multiple of 2, so it's in B, but it's not a prime number. 11 is a prime number, but not a multiple of 2. And then 12 is a multiple of 2, but not a prime number. So what we've done is filled out the Venn diagram. We can see the members of each set. We've identified the intersection, which we call A intersection B, and also we've looked at the union. Later in the video, we'll look at set notation and actually describe different scenarios with the Venn diagram. OK, we can use Venn diagrams to solve problems. In this question, it says 70 pupils in a class were asked if they owned an iPod or a laptop. 31 said they owned laptops. 15 said they owned iPods, and 10 owned both. How many, A, owned, laptop, owned a laptop but not an iPod? B, how many owned neither? OK, what we're going to do then is the following. This is a Venn diagram, and this is going to be now the universal set. So these are all of the members of the class. So what I'll do here, I'll put down this is going to be laptop, and this is going to be iPod. We know we've got 70 pupils. The easiest place to start with this now is the intersection. The intersection is the place where they owned both a laptop and an iPod. So we know 10 owned both. 10 will go in the middle. 10 people owned both a laptop and an iPod. Now we know 15 said they owned an iPod. The killer mistake here is to write 15 in here. Remember, we've already got 10 in the intersection, so we only need 5. We can see quite clearly, if we took this away, and I'll just do a bit of shading, if we were only interested in iPod owners, we can see quite clearly, if I shade this area right here, we can see that we've got 15 people in here in total. They are iPod owners. 10 of them own a laptop, and 5 of them obviously own just the iPod. OK, so let's now fill in the next bit of information. So we know 31 owned a laptop. Well, 10 of them already in here. That must leave me now 21. So we've got 21, 10, 
and 5. That gives me a total now of 36. Therefore, those that owned neither will be outside. So if we just dissect this, the part right here, and I'm going to start shading these because we're going to come on to this shortly. This part right here is the part of people who owned laptops only. So a laptop and no iPod. I'm kind of trying to be a bit careful. I don't know why. don't think we really need to. The part in the middle, which would be L intersection I, and we'll look at the notation of that shortly, is 10. They are people in the middle who owned both an iPod and a laptop. Then this side now are the people who owned a, uh, an iPod only. And as you can see, my shading isn't fantastic, but hopefully that makes some sense. So if you were asked now the probability that someone chosen at random owned an iPod only, 5 out of 70. This whole count must be equal to 70. Okay, what we're now going to do is move on to shading Venn diagrams and look at the notation. This says A union B. This is either A or B or both. So if we want to shade A union B, we can shade A and B. It's both of these parts right here. It can either be A or B or A and B. This right here now is A union, and we say union. That's A union B. So let's put a little one there. Okay, that's A union B. This is A intersection B. This means A and B. So it's in A and it's in B. And that's the intersection right here. That's A and B. So that's number two. Okay. This is telling me that it's in A and it's not in B. So if we consider it's in A, so we know that it's in this part, but it's not in B. And all we're going to have just here now is this part here. So think about what it's saying. I'm in A, but I'm not in B. A and not B. Let's look at this one. I'm not in A and I'm not in B. Well, I must be on the outside. So there we go. That's me. I'm on the outside. I'm not in A and I'm not in B. This notation just means not or the complement of B. That's some notation or uh, terminology that you'll want to get comfortable with. The complement is not. Okay, so here we are. Just shading now. Okay, let's look at the next one. This one is slightly harder. This is either A or not B. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build this up with two different Venn diagrams. After a while, you'll just go straight at this. So it's either A, which is all of this, OK, or it's not B. Now, if we consider it not being B, what we're going to have then is the following. Not B is everything outside of B. So all we need to do to find A union, not B, is simply put these two things together. And we can quite clearly see the only difference between the two, if I put them together, is that we need to shade this bit in right here. So this one shows A. This one shows not B. So it's A or not B. And that's that bit right here. So that's what we wind up with. OK, this one. This is saying A and B not. Well, let's think about this now. Let's go the other way. We know that this is A intersection B. So what it's telling me then is this is not it. So we want everything but that. So what we end up with now is the following. Okay, so all we're going to do now is leave the intersection alone. So that's some basic shading. And at GCSE, that's about all you need to do. Okay, some you might want to take a couple of Venn diagrams to work it out. You certainly don't have to, but hopefully you can see that's how to do it. So this one right here is going to be A and B not. Okay, so there we go. So that's a bit of shading. The union is both, the intersection is the part they cross. Okay, we can also use Venn diagrams for probability. 
what we've got here, so it's given the probability of A is 0 0.3, the probability of B is 0 0.4, and the probability of A and B is 0 0.1, we need to find the probability of A union B, so this is A or B, the probability of not A and not B, and the probability of A and not B. So let's grab the Venn diagram, and what we'll do, we'll make it a bit bigger. Okay, so let's put that just there. So what we'll do then is start. Now, just consider the following. This is where I like to start. This is the intersection, A intersection B. This is going to be 0 0.1. Now, if that's 0 0.1, and we know the probability of 0 point, uh, sorry, probability of A is 0 0.3, this must be 0 0.2. The killer mistake here is to put 0 0.3. But just consider this now. That's 0 0.3 in total. The probability of B is 0 0.4, so this now must be 0 0.3. Just consider B. B is all of this part right here. Let's just look at this. We know all probabilities in the sample space must be equal to 1. We've got a total here of 0 0.6. That must mean that outside... We need 0.4. We've now got a complete Venn diagram. The first one we're asked to do is find the probability of A or B. The probability of A or B is all of this area right here. And what I'll do, I'll quickly shade it and then we'll get rid of it. A or B is all of this stuff trapped in here. This is the union of both. So all we're going to do now is add these together. When you come on to A level or some stats further on, you will look at some more um, formal uh, formulae, if that isn't um, uh, a poor use of English. But for now, all we'll do is view it as the, in, uh, the, the union of A and B, which is all of it. So what we're going to get then, let's get rid of that, is going to be 0 0.6. So let's write that there. So this is going to be 0 0.6. The probability of it not being A and not being B, well, that's outside. This is now A and B. So it's not in, it's not in A and it's not in B. So that's going to be now 0 0.4. The probability of it being in A but not in B. So this right here is A and not B. Because what I'm doing, I'm excluding the intersection here. So the probability of A and not B is simply going to be 0 0.2. So nice and straightforward, fairly logical. All you're doing is finding those values. OK. Now, in this one it says, given the probability of A is 0 0.4, probability of not, uh, B is 0 0.3, probability of A or B is 0 0.5, find the probability of not A and not B, and the probability of A intersection B. Okay, now, with this, there are a couple of different ways to approach it, and if you've done any um, A-level or AS stats, you might attack this slightly different. The way that I'm going to look at it um, is not necessary. There are a couple of different ways, but we can look at it anyway. Now, we know that the probability of A union B, all of this in here has got to be 0 0.5. So outside, we're going to have 0 0.5. Now, we want to, and we'll find this one first, okay? We want to get this part right here. We know all of this is 0 0.5 in here. We know the probability of A is 0 0.4, and the probability of B is 0 0.3. There are a couple of ways. The way I like to think about it, and it's, it's not necessary, let's call this value in here X. So this one is going to be 0 0.4 minus x, and this one is going to be 0 0.3 minus x. So what we can do with a, a basic bit of maths is the following. If we now add all of these together, what we're going to have then is 0 0.4 minus x plus x plus 0 0.3 minus x. And we know that's got to be equal to 0 0.5. Now those are going to cancel. So what we're left with then is 0 0.3 and 0 0.4, which is 0 0.7, minus x is equal to 0 0.5. Subtract 0 0.5 from both sides, 0 0.2, add the x to both sides, and we get that x is equal to 0 0.2. You can do it by um, deduction as such. Uh, I prefer to do it this way, but feel free to do it whichever way you want. So this one, we're going to have now 0 0.4 minus 0 0.2, which is going to be 0 0.2 x is going to be 0 0.2, so we can put that in the middle, 
and then 0.3 times uh, minus the x, we're going to have 0.1. So we can get rid of those, but as stated, if you've got a different way, use a different way. You don't need to do that at all. So there are our probabilities. So what we need to do at this stage right now is find the following. We need to find the probability of not A and not B. Well, that's simply this part right here. When it's not in A and it's not in B, it's going to be 0.5. And the probability of A into section B, so A and B, 0.2. Okay. If we wanted now, and let's just scroll down here a touch. If we wanted, let's put some more notation here. If we wanted now the probability of A and not B, okay, we could write that like so. We can see it in, it's in A, but it's not in B, would be equal to 0 0.2. If we wanted the probability now of not A and B, then that's going to be this part right here, which is going to be 0 0.1. So there we go. Bit of basic probability, as stated, a few different ways around it. I don't think that's the, the most natural way to do it, but it's certainly one way of doing it. And in S1, you'll learn a slightly better alternative. The way I really like to think about it is I add those two together and subtract that one, and that gives me the intersection. Um, if you want to look at it that way, you can do so. 0 0.3 plus 0 0.4 is 0 0.7. Take that away. That's your middle bit, and then you work out the difference between the two. So there we go. Basic work with Venn diagrams and set notation. Let's look at the take-home points. Okay, we'll go back here. This is what we call a set. A set is simply a collection of objects. The numbers in that set will either be called members or elements. We can have what's called an empty set, and I'll just draw the notation. If you see now a circle like so with a line, that's called an empty set. We seen that set B are the multiples of two, so all the multiples of two would be the elements or members of a set. This notation is given to be the universal set. We can show this on a Venn diagram. We can use a Venn diagram to, use, to solve problems. And generally, the easiest way to do it is to start with the intersection. So L intersection I. The intersection is where they're both L and I. The union is where it's L or I in this part. We looked at shading. A union B is both A and B or B. So A or B. A intersection B is when it's in both A and B. A intersection not B is when it's in A but it's not in B and so on and so forth. So this is shading and sometimes it's easier to build two up and we saw that that was the case with this one and then we had A intersection B not. So we found the intersection and then it wasn't that. And then we looked at some basic probability and it's fairly straightforward. Your whole sample space has got to be equal to 1. All probabilities equal 1, so make sure it does. Find the values, sub them in, and you can use some problems with a bit of algebra, if you wish, or simple calculations to work with probability. I'll do some more advanced stuff and some S1 um, probability and Venn diagrams and set notation, but for now, hopefully that will give you a good enough start at GCSE.